Barcelona GSE affiliated professor Rosemary Nagel has been thinking about a particular game theory problem for almost 20 years. It's called the Keynesian Beauty Contest. In her work, Professor Nagel combines abstract theory with economic experiments. These experiments anchor the beauty contest game in the real world, leading to rich insights on human behavior. So the modern Keynesian beauty contest is a game where everybody has to choose a number between 0 and 100 and the winner is the person closest to two-thirds times the average of all chosen numbers. So you really have to think what the others are doing, you have to take the average of what everybody is doing and then multiply that with two-thirds, but you have to think that the others are also doing that. So this is actually something we do in everyday life. The stock market is the typical example, so you want to sell before everybody else sells, yeah, so shortly before, or you want to buy um, before everybody else is buying, yeah, so, so you want to preempt the people, but you don't want to preempt them by too much. Every five years, I think, um, I get an idea. So, for example, um, there was the time, the beginning of time of doing field experiments, so I invited um, newspaper readers to participate in the game. Then, in the time of uh, neuroeconomics, I thought this is a good game to study the brain while people do the beauty contest game. And there we see very clear differences of people who think very deeply what others are doing and those who don't think so deeply, yeah, so who basically ignore what others are doing. And um, it also is a vehicle that transports me now to philosophy um, or to biology, neuroscience, and even to arts. Since the Nobel Prize of Al Roth, I think he wants to proclaim that economists sh should become economic engineers. Once I do something, I can maybe interpret it as if I, I and my co-authors, Jess Ben Abib and John Duffy, have become engineers. So, I mean, the big difficulty in this game, there's a huge heterogeneity. Yeah, the behavior is very far from equilibrium, which is zero. And then you have to think, how do you get people to equ uh, equilibrium? One way is to, you let people repeat and they get experience with the game. Or we let them uh, talk in teams. Yeah, and so recently, um, I have come across a theoretical game, actually from macroeconomics. Now I say you can pick any number, yeah? And so this reasoning, what the others are reasoning, actually is not visible anymore. However, I give every person a hint, a personal hint. Psychologically, it's very difficult if you get an anchor not to use it. This means that the behavior becomes much more predictable. The kinds of games around this Keynesian beauty contest yeah, um, can also be very helpful to understand phenomena in uh, macroeconomics. And especially for the student, it is very important to play the models, to understand the models deep down, not just how to calculate a fixed point, but really to see how other agents act, how you will react, so maybe as a facet, I would say um, game theory is for playing games and not for making predictions. However, once you have played with the game, in the game, being a subject and maybe also an outside observer, you might be able to pre do predictions. Yeah, because you can use the solutions of game theory as a structure and you can see what the behavior tells you and with this um, amount of uh, observations, for sure, it will be easier to make predictions. Yeah.